Luke Marshall, as we say, back. Jacob Stockdale back. And so much, well, so much for all the provinces. Just about set to go, even. Start of another URC season. Up and running at the Kingspan. And here's hoping for a cracking season, entertaining stuff that... And the mall has a bit of menace about it. And there's advantage there as well. Josh Murphy penalised. What can Ulster do? Well, the mall won't go any further, so they go to the back line and they have a free play, and that is wonderful for McCluskey. McCluskey! Creator Marshall on his return hands over and free them and Marshall those two have a long-standing partnership uh, He knew where to be and that was a brilliant bit of play uh, lovely lovely bit of rugby I think it comes out of the back of the fingertips by McCluskey that yeah. should stand in my opinion, excuse me uh, It'll have to be clear and obvious to be taken away and I haven't seen anything clear and obvious there now that goes backwards in my view Stewart and Ulster find their man in the line out and away goes the hooker and it opens up in front of him the young man is in saw the opportunity executed oh so well but what were Connacht doing defensively to go in and the Connacht defence sleeping but they look very strong there. I think that's a weapon they can use throughout the game. Yeah, they're always strong around the mall. Scored so many tries. Rob Herring, Rory Best over the years. It's always been a big weapon for Ulster. But look at this. Explosive power. Little shimmy off his right foot and in he goes. As I said to you before, guys, lots of chit-chat about this young man up here in Belfast. And so far, so, so good. This is the final play of this first half. Tom Daly. Good carry from the former Leinster man. Advantage. Yeah, advantage. Feet, that was an unnecessary team. penalty for Ulster Clearly to give away. The They've really kept their discipline in the first half. That one loose. Connor Fitzgerald. And Connor gets some points on the board. Which they do. Up go the flags. Greeted by silence, as is often the case on the away game. Do need to make the tackle. Presented for Doak once more. Nice hands, gets the ball out a little wider, but still, advantage. the 22 is the holding line. Ulster now, though, have advantages. Nathan Doak then to restore Ulster's 14-point lead, which he does with ease, up go the flags, and it's Ulster with the first points of the second half. They lead it by 17 points to three. Also, Tierney Martin in, and Dennis Buckley also. Away goes the hooker once more. Short. Stewart almost there. Now Ulster are there. Eventually, the pressure pays. What he's doing right now, he just has... Certain players have an air, and he has an air. Yeah, he's only 20 years of age. When he had crossed the line, Jordy Murphy drives the legs. Just can't get there. Doke. Gap little gap opened up for him, didn't see it. Short away black. But relentless again from Ulster. They Six just keep stop. pounding away at the door. Burns. Marshall, lovely offload, and it comes eventually. Moore in. Try number four for Ulster. Anytime he's got the ball, it's a quick tap. Marcus Ray, off he goes. He thought he was over. But again, for me, it's it's around the rock. The organization. Look at Nathan Doak. Just get out there. Jordy Murphy, give me another platform to play off, and then it's a, a pop, and out the back offload by Luke Marshall, as Stuart Moore gets in in the corner, and loves that one. Advantage over for the knock-on. And an opportunity for Wooten, maybe, in some open space. Nice pass, really nice. Hawkshaw is there, played inside him. Wonderful try, wonderful try from Connacht and right on cue we asked where was the flair of Connacht there it is Luke Fitzgerald was you know sleeping on the job there you know you always got to cover the defense or the the, uh, the attack in front of you versus the kick kick is always second um, you know so that was a bad bit of play by him but Connacht capitalized and they finished that brilliantly blade goes over to finish a brilliant piece of play uh, where is it gonna go it's gonna be taken on by Callum Reid Jordy Murphy is there, and he's met by a wall of black. Okay, leave! Reed again, 
think he got there, he did. Referee agrees. Very, very tired. Really nice work. Knock on by Black, time is up. There'll be bigger challenges ahead for Ulster with Stephen Ferris. They'll be happy with what they've done this evening. Plenty to build on, plenty to work on, but good early signs from this Ulster side. For sure, Raoul. Absolutely delighted with the home victory tonight. It's a special night, of course, with Nevin Spence being remembered 